Having this true curiosity on the Randy Show. I do something known as stool transplantation. I'm not sure if people have heard of it. It gives me a very bad image in my head. I head. know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> But go on, I'm curious. Yeah, it's 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 a very interesting thing. So, uh when we we spoke about alcohol in length, so I would just like to include this particular portion which is known as severe alcoholic or severe alcohol related hepatitis, which is if somebody is drinking heavy amounts of alcohol, you know, apart from developing liver cirrhosis and cancers and all that and other things, there is this particular uh disease condition which is known as alcohol related hepatitis which means sudden amounts of alcohol suddenly causes severe inflammation in the liver and your liver actually start, starts failing in a short term it is associated with very high risk of death within the first 3 months these are this is an emergency in alcohol uh, use uh, disorder and uh, they develop severe jaundice they have fluid Uh, build up in the abdomen you have to tap fluid out they develop brain failure they develop infections everything within few weeks and they they just rapidly die this is alcoholic hepatitis now with somebody who has alcohol related hepatitis we treat them with steroids first that is i mean our, our standard medical steroid not the anabolic one standard medical steroids which is prednisolone we treat them some of them respond some of them don't so the ones who don't respond to the treatment will die without a liver transplant but most of these patients they are recently drinking alcohol so like i said if you transplant them they might go back to drinking after getting a new liver so transplantation is not possible all the time for this group of patients who don't respond to standard care so what to do with them so what we did was there was two studies from 2015 and 2016 uh, from a spanish group and from a french group which was done on rats in mice uh, not rats in mice where they actually fed the mice alcohol so mice and men mice and humans have this uh, same love for alcohol so if you sensitize a mouse to alcohol and give it a cup of alcohol with water and a cup of water it will always go to the one with alcohol so it has that so it's easy to do alcohol studies on mice so they gave made mice drink alcohol and gave extra alcohol and what they found out was that the mice who developed severe liver disease they had a different gut microbiota profile so the bacteria in their intestines were totally different from the bacteria in the intestines of the mice who did not have liver disease so what the other group did so there were two groups what the other group of researchers did that they started uh, giving the mice who developed this liver disease due to alcohol they actually house them so they what what they do is they co-house the mice so there are healthy mice and there are these mice with alcohol liver disease with bad bacteria in their gut so they co-house them so what i'm going to say might actually disgust people here but something very peculiar about mice is that they eat each other's feces mm. the stool they eat each other's stool that is what it's, it's not a scoprophagia so they they, they actually did that mm. so they what the mice did was the mice with the diseased liver the alcohol related liver disease and bad bacteria they ate the stool of healthy mice so that actually becomes a stool transfer of sort mm. right mm. and the researchers what they found was that when the good bacteria from the healthy mice went into the uh, liver disease mice through that stool transfer their liver disease started reducing, reducing because the bad bacteria were overcome by the good bacteria now in the case of human beings <laughs> i did that first for humans w- what did you make so in 2017 sure. uh, we devised or we designed a study where we had a group of patients with severe alcohol hepatitis who did not have any other options for treatment and we counseled them regarding stool transplantation where we will give them healthy stool suspension through a tube which is put through the nose into their intestine to be clear yeah it's the stool of a healthy person but treated uh, to remove all the infectious stuff yeah so treated to remove all the solid and vegetable matter so it's basically a fresh stool suspension about 100 ml that like, is given it's liquid it's liquid okay yeah it's liquid and it's it's not easy to prepare i have, i did this during the first few years of my time in ilbs hospital in my during my this is part of my thesis actually and feces was part of my thesis so <laughs> what for so what we what we did was uh, we put a small uh, feeding tube to the nose to the Uh, small intestine that is after the stomach 
and we fed i mean we gave these patients the fresh stool sample of healthy people and 88% of those people survived without a liver transplant damn that was the first study in the world to show that if you do healthy donor stool transplantation patients with severe alcohol liver disease you can actually improve their survival without the need for a liver transplant and i kept i mean i still do it we have we have the only unit in the world which treats patients actively with stool transplantation in severe alcohol liver disease we still have it so we treat patients on a case by case basis somebody who has no options for transplant severe alcohol liver disease very high chance of dying we do this for them and it's very safe and it's effective and we have found this out through multiple studies done over the last 5 years this is why i love medical podcasts with indian doctors it's like a very chuck the india moment <laughs> but people like the average public doesn't understand the kind of medical work that's happening in our country this is this is, we are the ones who are doing it i mean we are pioneers in it so the whole uh, the transplant protocol is is designed by me and this is followed in pj chandigarh this is followed in uh, hospitals in, uh, uh, in in kerala across the globe even in delhi my protocol is followed so this is the design protocol but what i want to may, uh, what i wanted to convey here is that while we were doing this and while i looked at these patients in the long term who were surviving i found out that people who were on standard care you know medications and de addiction protocols and things like that versus the people who received stool transplantation years before the people who received stool transplantation they were not drinking at all you know they were not on those medications to stop the craving they were not on de addiction protocols they just received stool transplant so i was intrigued and we tested the stool samples before they received the treatment to many many years later receiving treatment and we found out that a special group of bacteria was high after stool transplant and that particular bacteria affected a particular pathway signaling pathway no. in the yeah in the from the gut to the brain that actually made them reduce their alcohol Damn. use so this pathway also is identified which is known as a kinurin pathway this is pure science a kinurin pathway which is actually part of the gut brain axis was affected in patients with severe alcohol use disorder and alcohol hepatitis who received fresh stool samples from healthy people so much that they quit drinking so in the future for people to quit drinking we might have capsules containing this specific good bacteria take it your brain functions will be normalized wow yeah this is going to be a future it's crazy how much we're discovering about the human body right now so yeah, i'm actually a gut microbe i mean i'm i'm sure a lot of people just keep talking about gut health and all that just like that i mean blowing in the wind but i'm actually a clinical researcher who studies gut microbiome and we have the only unit that studies gut microbiome in alcohol use disorders and alcohol liver disease uh, in india and uh, we are at par with uh, the the kind of research that us and uk universities do If you enjoyed this clip from the Ranbir show we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics so explore the channel because there's something for everyone